you get a new exhaust? Dude, yes, dude. I got an intake too. Let me show you. It sounds pretty good. Come check this out. Oh, no. Yeah, so I got a new intake on it. Nice. And then come here. This is this one. Look how fucking big this. Oh, my goodness. This, is, uh, this tip is. It's not loud, is it? It doesn't sound too loud. It's, uh. Here, dude, here. Give it a tiny little rev. Okay. Not too loud, I don't want my neighbors to get mad. Okay. What is that stuff? Who taught you this? Sriracha? Oh my goodness. Brother. Yeah. Is that full? Does it need to be to the lid to be full? Mm. I think we're good. All right. Let's start it up, see how it slashes. <laughs> It's springtime, baby. Welcome back to another video. We are chilling at the shop. I got the bench here today because I've been driving it every single day, um, but that will end in today's video. So we also have the 350Z with the G37 front end in here. The alternator went bad on it, and we're gonna be fixing that in today's video. The Subivo giveaway is still live. If you guys didn't know, I'm giving away this Subivo, $50 in entry. Um, we're about halfway full, and the giveaway is going on until May 1st, so we still have um, a little less than a month left on the giveaway, and then somebody will win this car and uh, come out to the shop, drive it home, however they want to do it. Uh, this will be somebody else's car. So if you guys didn't know in the last video, my side skirt flew off on the highway, which is the other one of this STI side skirt. So I got some WRX side skirts, and the WRX side skirts fit 10 times better than the STIs does because this is an actual WRX. And I really like the way they look. Um, so I got my new wrap. It just came in the other day right there the fresh red for the side skirts and i'm going to do a couple more things like the door handle right here started peeling up for the g50z we're getting it on the ground today you can see i finally got some wheels for it uh these aren't anything special i basically picked these up uh for 200 bucks these 370z wheels and i want to run all four rears but um i have to get another set to be able to run all four rears so i have the fronts in the front and the rears in the rear and obviously the fitment is terrible but now that I'm actually gonna be drifting this car a little bit, um, I can't run extreme fitment like I used to. Uh, with a spacer and a little bit of better tire size, because I literally just got these wheels yesterday. The fitment I wanna run is something like that. Um, nothing like it was, but I'm gonna get these wheels blasted on right now, and we're gonna see what it looks like on the ground. I also got some underglow for the Subivo. I think the new owner will love some underglow. I don't know, it definitely has a need for speed vibe. All right, well, I got the side skirt wrapped on this side. It looks 10 times better. Check that out. Bingo. Well, this is a sudden turn of events. So we got the Mercedes outside and yesterday it was sunny. Today it's full blown snowing. I don't know. Anyways, the tree fell down at our house and oh, I gotta move the Camry because the tree is about to crush it so you can see tree on the ground it normally doesn't go this low if you were wondering um you see a broken spot right there that's about to crush the camry the brand new camry that was extremely weird but the snow is completely gone today um i don't know what's going on with the weather but we got the Subivo jacked up and that is because i'm installing underglow i have all the underglow in its position and i have it somewhat wired up what I need to do is finagle all those wires through the transmission tunnel, which I cut the hole for yesterday, and then I can put it into um, the new cigarette lighter that I wired in. And then we can finally see what underglow looks on this thing. 
Um, I think it'll look really, really cool. With some red underglow or blue Spider-Man vibes. Ooh, okay, we got it all done up now. The blue, the green, check the rear. So for some reason, the red doesn't work in the rear. But then green, blue, white, or blue, I don't know. Oh, there's like different weird colors. But yeah, see, the red doesn't work in the rear, but I think that looks amazing. Check that out. Spider-Man? Oh yeah. So I got spacers for the 370Z wheels. I need a bigger spacer in the front, but I have a 35 mil I'm gonna use for now. And then I have a 20 or 25 mil uh, I'm gonna run. I think the rear fitment is gonna look nice and the front's gonna be terrible. But I just wanna get this on the ground because I wanna be able to have both of these cars and do a photo shoot with them, especially because the Subivo will be gone next month uh, and the winner will pick it up. But yeah, I have no pictures of these next to each other besides inside the shop and this thing's been on jack stands that whole life. So let's get these spacers all bolted up and put the wheels on and get this thing on the ground and see how she looks. That's the fitment in the rear. It's not too terrible with the 25 mil. I mean, it's not perfect fitment, but from the side, I think it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, baby. So G50Z is on the ground. You can see the fitment in the front is absolutely terrible. And now that it's on the ground, the fitment in the rear is actually more terrible. So I wasted money buying these spacers, which isn't that big of a deal, but I don't think I'll be rubbing either. It looks pretty good, it's not terrible. I mean, from the side it looks good, but from the front, that fitment is terrible. Oh, what a perfect view of the underglow. For some reason, the underglow is like, it'll like randomly get dim. I don't know if it's a bad ground or just a $30 eBay kit, but uh, we're over here and by the freeway, and I think it looks pretty good. So we're gonna get a clip of uh, him shooting a flame. Let's, let's see this. This, this could be absolutely insane. Or it could be really shitty. Yeah, it could be not First, that cool. I'm just gonna do some revs and see if we get the flames and then I'll do the two steps at the end. Okay.